Hello everyone, now in this video, I will try to give multiple solutions of one most common uploading error which you all must have faced while uploading the code onto your Node MCU board or a ESP to 66 module. And that error is ESP underscore com underscore mem underscore failed. Now, in this video, I will let you know the reason of this error and also the steps to rectify this error. So let's get started. Hey, if you are facing any compiling related error while compiling the code for your ESP266 device, then kindly watch out this video whose link is available in the description. Now, first of all, the meaning of this error. The meaning of this error is Arduino IDE is unable to communicate with the specified ESP board that may be a generic ESP board or a Node MCU board. And there can be multiple reasons for this miscommunication. In this video, I will try to cover all the possible solutions to this error. So first of all, we will talk about how to solve this error in the generic ESP board and then we will see how to solve it for Node MCU board. So for ESP26601, first step is to check the drivers. Now, in case of generic ESP, as I am using my Arduino boards, only Arduino drivers are required which are already installed at the time of installing Arduino IDE. And if you are using any other USB 2 TTL converter module for programming this board, then make sure you install the proper drivers for that. Second step includes checking the cable. Now, to check the Arduino cable, Try uploading a simple blink program on your Arduino board and see if it works. And if it doesn't show the port of your Arduino board, then the cable is damaged which you need to get replaced. Third step is checking the connections. For uploading code into the generic ESP266 module using Arduino board, the connections are something like this. Here important connections are Arduino reset pin should be connected to ground and the GPIO 0 pin of ESP8266 module should also be connected to ground. Now reason for both the connections are First, let's see the reason of Arduino's reset to ground connection. Whenever the code starts uploading from Arduino IDE to our Arduino board, it first resets the chip onto the board because after resetting, the chip waits for some time to read the incoming code. Without resetting, the chip never ever comes to know that any new code is coming. Now here, we don't want the chip on our Arduino board to get programmed as we are trying to program the ESP module using Arduino board. That means we are using Arduino just as a programmer only. So connecting its reset pin to ground don't allow the chip to get reset and hence the chip on the Arduino board never tries to listen to any incoming code. Second, reason of GPIO0 to reset connection. GPIO0 pin of ESP module is also regarded as a flash pin. Now what happens in this chip is that as soon as we power up the chip, it will first check its GPIO0 pin status. If the GPIO 0 pin is either pulled high or not connected, then the chip will execute the already uploaded code on it. But if the pin is pulled low, then it will wait for the new code to be burned onto the chip. And this is the reason GPIO 0 pin should be connected to ground before powering up the board. Now this is important. GPIO 0 pin should be connected to ground before powering the module. That means if you have given supply to ESP board and after that if you are connecting its GPIO 0 pin to ground then also the code won't be uploaded on the ESP board and it will show this error a ESP underscore com underscore mem underscore failed. So first of all make all the connections and after making connection power up the board. The code will get successfully uploaded. So these were the steps for generic ESP266 module. After following these steps, select the generic ESP266 in the boards, 
select the port on which your Arduino is connected and hit the upload button. Your code will get successfully uploaded onto the ESP266 module. Moving further, let's see the steps for the Node MCU board. Now for the Node MCU board, first of all, there are two types of Node MCU available in the market. One with the CH340 driver IC and another with a CP2102 driver IC. First of all, make sure you have proper drivers installed in the system. Links of the drivers for both the boards are available in the description of this video. So go ahead and install it. Now second step is to check the cable. Now to check this micro USB cable, try connecting your phone with the computer and if it detects the mass storage device, then the cable is perfectly fine. Otherwise, you need to replace the USB cable. Third step is pressing the flash button. Logic of pressing the flash button is same as that of connecting GPIO 0 pin of generic ESP266 to ground. Here, one leg of flash button is connected to GPIO 0 pin and another leg is connected to the ground of the board. So pressing the flash button will pull the GPIO 0 pin low. So what you need to do is before connecting the USB cable to the computer, press and hold this flash button. After connecting the USB cable, release the flash button. The port will automatically appear onto the port section. Select the port, select the node MCU board in the board section and hit the upload button. Your code will get successfully uploaded onto your Node MCU board. So these were the possible solutions of the single error. I hope this video will help tons of makers and engineers who are stuck with this single error. So if you find this video useful, then do give a big thumbs up to this video. And if you are facing any other error related to ESP board, then do let me know on my WhatsApp number, which is mentioned in the description of this video. Ending this video here, subscribe my channel if you haven't to learn more interesting projects about IoT, automation and electronics. So wait for my next project until then explore, learn, share with me, Techie SMS.